My name is Tianlein and today we talk about skins which you can acquire with in-game activities in the Elder Scrolls Online. I created already in the past videos about this topic, but ESO added over the years lots of new skins, so I thought it's time to update this video. On my website you can find a guide with pictures which also include skins from the Crown Store and Crown Crates. All the listed skins are obtainable via in-game activities, but for some you need to be able to access specific DLC areas. ESO offers several times during the year a free ESO Plus try time, which you can use to access all DLC zones and try to earn the related collectibles. Be aware that for some skins you need to complete difficult content to unlock the needed achievements. As always, you can find timestamps in the video description. First, we will talk about skins which you can earn from events or event tickets. The Crystal Frost skin is obtainable during the New Life Festival. Usually, the New Life Festival is each year active in December. You have to complete 12 Imperial Charity Rits or Deep Winter Charity Rits to unlock the newly charitable achievement and earn the Crystal Frost skin. The related event rits are found in New Life Festival gift boxes, which you can get by completing daily Ritual New Life Festival quests for Breda. If you don't want to wait that the event returns, you can check the guild traders and buy the charity rits of gold. The Deadlands Scorcher skin was obtainable during the first quarter of 2021 from the Impresario event merchant with event tickets. The Slack Town Diver skin was obtainable during the Tribunal Celebration event in 2021. If you missed the event, you can check the Guild Traders and buy the Slack Town Diver skin with gold. Next, we talk about the Soul Shriven skin. This skin can be earned in the center of the Imperial City sewers, over Ratrum Sintratra, by defeating the Simalcum of Molag Bol. To be able to enter the Imperial City, you need the Imperial City DLC, which you can claim for free via the Crown Store. Also, keep in mind that the Imperial City is a PvP area, and other players may attack you. You can also check the Guild Traders and buy the Soul Shriven skin with gold. Now we talk about skins which are obtainable from dungeons. You need to own the related DLCs or have an active ESO Plus subscription to access these dungeons. To acquire the Ember Plasm skin, you have to complete the Runes of Matsatun Challenger achievement of the Veteran Runes of Matsatun dungeon. You have to accomplish a No Death Run, a Speed Run, and defeat the last boss on Hard Mode on Veteran Difficulty of the Runes of Matsatun dungeon. The Ruins of Matsatun Dungeon is part of the Shadows of the His DLC. The Black Marrow Necromancer skin is obtainable in the Veteran Skatecaller Peak Dungeon and you have to complete the Skatecaller Peak Challenge achievement. You have to accomplish a No Death Run a speed run and defeat the last boss on hard mode on veteran difficulty of the Skatecaller Peak Dungeon. The Skatecaller Peak Dungeon is part of the Dragonbones DLC.
The Dagon's Viserion skin is unlocked by earning the Colton Conquer achievement. To accomplish this task, you have to complete the Colton Dungeon on Veteran difficulty. The Colton Dungeon is part of the Flames of Ambition DLC. To acquire the Dreton Shaman skin, you have to complete the Falkut Hall Challenger achievement of the Dreton Falkut Hall Dungeon. You have to accomplish an no Death Run, a Speed Run, and defeat the last boss on Hard Mode on Dreton Difficulty of the Falkut Hall Dungeon. The Falkut Hall Dungeon is part of the Horns of the Reach DLC. The Meridian Purified Skin is unlocked by earning the Death of Malatar Conquer achievement. To accomplish this task, you have to complete the Death of Malatar Dungeon on Veteran difficulty. The Death of Malatar Dungeon is part of the Reststone DLC. The reanimated vampiric trial skin is unlocked by earning the Castle Thorn Conquer achievement. To accomplish this task, you have to complete the Castle Thorn Dungeon Return difficulty. The Castle Thorn Dungeon is part of the Stone Thorn DLC. To acquire the Sableman Beast skin, you have to complete the Moonhunter Keep Challenger achievement of the Veteran Moonhunter Keep Dungeon. You have to accomplish a No Death Run, a Speed Run, and defeat the last boss on Hard Mode on Veteran Difficulty of the Moonhunter Keep Dungeon. The Moonhunter Keep Dungeon is part of the Wolf Hunter DLC. To acquire the Spider Kiss skin, you have to complete the Cradle of Shadows Challenger achievement of the Veteran Cradle of Shadows dungeon. You have to accomplish a No Death Run, a Speed Run, and defeat the last boss on Hard Mode on Veteran Difficulty of the Cradle of Shadows dungeon. The Cradle of Shadows dungeon is part of the Shadow of the His DLC. Now we talk about skins, which are obtainable from Trials. You need to own the related DLCs or have an active ESO Plus subscription to access these Trials. The Tromatra skin is unlocked by completing the Morph Lokai Trial on Veteran Difficulty. The Morph Lokai Trial is part of the Thief Skill DLC. The 
The Fabrication Seed skin is unlocked by completing the Holds of Fabrication trial on veteran difficulty. The Holds of Fabrication trial is part of the Morrowind DLC. The Sanctified Silver Skin is unlocked by defeating the Saint Olms, Saint Lotus and Saint Felm's bosses in the same fight in the Veteran Asylum Sanctorum Trial. The Asylum Sanctorum Trial is part of the Clockwork City DLC. The Seaborn Silver Skin is unlocked by completing the Kynes Aegis Trial on Veteran Difficulty. The Kynes Aegis Trial is part of the Greymoor DLC. The Sunspire Ice Fire Skin is unlocked by completing the Sunspire Trial Veteran Difficulty. The Sunspire Trial is part of the Elsewhere DLC. Marja's Shadow Skin is unlocked by completing the Cloudrest Trial on Veteran Difficulty. The Cloudrest Trial is part of the Somerset DLC. Now we talk about skins which are obtainable from arenas. You need to own the related DLCs or have an active ESO Plus subscription to access these arenas. The Marshmiss Payscale skin is unlocked by completing the Black Rose Prison Arena on Veteran Difficulty. The Black Rose Prison Arena is part of the Merkmeyer DLC. The Void Patosi skin is unlocked by completing the Vatishran Arena on Veteran Difficulty. The Vatishran Arena is part of the Reach DLC.
There are also plenty of skins purchasable from the Crown store or found in Crown Crates. I listed all of them with pictures on my website. If ESO adds a new skin to the game, I will update as soon as possible the website with new content. A big thank you to my community who helped to get pictures for all skins. Thanks for watching and it would be wonderful if you subscribe, like or leave me a comment. Have a nice day and until next time. Toodles!